Um, yeah, what's new and latest and greatest? Super stoked to partner up with Cali uh, Protectives. So I've been a big fan of theirs for quite a long time. They strive to make the safest helmets on the market and I'm stoked on that because helmet safety is a huge concern of mine. in uh, Quebec in the uh, mountain region and I'm just checking out the snow bike that I'm supposed to be riding for the uh, uh, Red Bull sled hammers. In February, Red Bull kicked off a new event called Red Bull sled hammers. It's kind of like jumps, berms, mixed with a big hill climb, racing head to head, kind of like dual slalom. And I got invited to go out there and race up against the pro snowmobiler, Levi Lavalle. It's pretty cool to see the, like, the dynamic between a snowmobile and a snow bike and you know what's going to corner better, jump better and stuff like that. You know, it was uh, super fun. Yeah, buddy. With winter in the books, I generally start to ramp up and get busier. You know, for me it's, uh, it's a fine balance between home life and traveling and it's been a pretty awesome winter in terms of uh, I've been home quite a bit been pretty busy filming on Reverence and building up in the mountains. It's been nice, I've been local. Uh, I've been able to spend a lot of time with Bella, which has been great. March saw me getting on a plane, heading to Rotorua for Crankworx New Zealand. I a couple of shred holes. I did some of the, uh, the fun events. I did some speed and style, dual slalom, and then the whip off. That was by far my favorite event. All right, here we are in uh, Rotorua doing a little lose action with the boys. Got a bunch of the GoPro crew. Here's one point. Look at that. That's a rocket. Get into it. from New Zealand, the trails were in prime condition, and I took advantage of that by taking my bike out for some exploration. For the most part, people that are anti-e-bikes, as soon as they get on one and actually go for a big ride, are generally a believer right away. You know, for me, I have no problems adapting to a little bit extra weight and shredding the actual bike um, downhill. The center of gravity is so low, there's so much stability in the bike when you're actually descending it. We as mountain bikers all have a duty to be stewards of the land. And a big issue at the moment is people are unlocking their speed limiters on their e-bikes. The reason it's an issue is because lawmakers worldwide decided that on the speed that when gone beyond, it is no longer considered a pedal assist, and now considered a motorized vehicle. The land managers cannot tell the difference between a locked or unlocked bike, and potentially just going to say no to all bikes. We all need to be aware of this and be responsible so we don't lose the trails we love so much. Love them or hate them, we all need to be aware and spread the good word. Next episode, I'll be hitting Bend, Oregon for Sage Fest series, then to Reno for Zinc's Gathering, Biggest Little Fest. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one.